Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Sennheix N33. Now this is an experimental network radio, so this isn't released at, this, at the time of filming, um, but it is due to be released shortly. There's still some things being developed on this and it has uh, gone out to certain retailers in China uh, for tests, so this is going to be coming very soon. But I thought I'd show you and sort of report my findings so far as I've got a, a sort of test model here. As far as I'm aware, I'm the first person in the West to uh, have one of these and I thought it'd be a good opportunity today to show you it. So you can see it's a really chunky little network radio. It's only small. Um, it has a built-in antenna, so you've, you've not got a larger antenna there. It's just got the, the fixed antenna, so it's a nice portable size. Um, I like the blue accents on this thing as well. I thought that was quite a nice change from just the, the standard black. Um, so what we're going to do in this video today is we're just going to have a quick look at the menus in here. I'm going to go through some of what Sennheix have done so far with it, and we're going to look at an app called Real PTT. Um, it hasn't got Zello installed for reasons I'll go to in, in a moment. Um, so we're going to look at real PTT and we're going to test that today with a friend of mine. So you can see the radio here. We've got quite a decent sized screen on the front compared to the size of the radio. And it's got a, a microphone there, top and bottom, and the speaker is on the front and the screen is a touch screen. So you can do everything from the, uh, the touch screen itself. On the front there we've got a little transmit and receive LED there which is quite nice and that works as well with real PTT. Um, on the left hand side we've got three buttons, or four buttons sorry, we've got up and down, we've got a PTT and we've got menu and if you hold and push menu that turns the radio on and off. Um, on the other side we've got the speaker mic port behind a rubber cap and then on the bottom we've got a USB port there now this comes with sort of a modified USB which clips into place so you plug this in and it actually turns and clips in and locks into place so it can't be pulled out which I thought was quite nice on the top we've got the antenna and we've got a rotary encoder here and um, this is used for uh, selecting certain things and turning the volume up and down and it pushes as well so it can act as a button um, and then on the back we've just got the battery now this radio comes with two batteries two different size batteries one is a 3400 milliamp hour battery and one is a 6000 milliamp hour battery so they're going to last you a considerable amount of time the batteries on these because they only transmit very low power um, over cellular last quite a while um, a lot more than, than um, most of the two way radios out there so with these two batteries these are going to last ages one battery um, charges straight from the radio the other one has a plug on the back and it comes with a USB plug there so you can charge that battery separately um, I just thought that was quite a nice uh, idea that it comes with both models so as I say if you if you are using this for extended periods of time you don't have to worry about losing power with having the two batteries. It also comes with a mains power supply which powers a USB plug which can charge the radio um, and that um, three pin plug also charges the uh, the battery via its own USB lead. It also comes with a belt clip for the larger battery and then a holster belt clip for the smaller battery so the radio just sits in that little holster there and you can clip that onto um, a work belt or onto your, your pants or something like that um, so again I just thought that was nice it's sort of like a little drop-in cradle that um, can be used with the radio so just an update on where this radio is at the moment as I say it doesn't come with uh, Zello and you can't download or install Zello at this point because uh, well on my model because it is a test version I can't install things over USB at this moment in time so all I can show you today is real PTT um, so the uh, Google Play Store isn't on this or anything yet because as I say it's just sort of um, in the test phase for me but real PTT does work quite well it's more of a commercial application and I've got a couple of accounts, so I'm go I'm going to give one to James uh, from James Fletcher, and we're going to do a little bit of a um, a test over the uh, the air, for want of a better word, over the uh, network on this. I'm going to be using Wi-Fi today. This is a 4G model, and um, this will do 2G, 3G, and 4G. I have got a 4G SIM card inserted in this, but I don't have great coverage where I am, and um, because the nearest mast for GIFGAF, or the nearest mast that supports GIFGAF, is in the local town, and it's behind um, sort of line of sight for me so what I am going to be using is a little three wireless um, portable router which works off 4G so that has a, a cracking signal so I'm going to do a quick test with James and we'll just show you what the radio sounds like and um, we've already tested this before filming the video obviously and the sound quality on real PTT is pretty good and the network latency seems to be better than Zello and I think that is purely because it's such a, a much smaller network but see what you think anyway um, as I say the sound quality is good bearing in mind you're listening to the sound through my microphone from the speaker of the radio um, so I'm not sure how 
how well it's going to sound actually on the video but um, when you're actually using it it does sound um, pretty good yeah no worries okay I'm just in the shack now on the Sennheim M33 I've got no um, cellular coverage here and no Wi-Fi coverage so I'm using my phone as a hotspot so it's tethered to my phone so I hope the network connections um, good enough uh, how are you receiving me James Yeah, no worries. The quality is very similar to DMR. It's completely different to Zello. I don't know if you picked up on the same thing, James, but the quality is sort of not comparable to Zello at all. It's very, very similar to DMR. Yeah, that's indeed agree with you on that one. Uh, you do sound a bit more like a robot than uh, you do on, uh, on Zello. Um, I do like the way this works, it's, it's fast, but um, like I say, Zello is a lot clearer. <clears throat> Yeah, um, yeah, I know what you mean. Like I say, this this is the first time I've properly used this app. Um, I've looked through the settings to see if there's any audio tweaks that you can make, but yeah, the the, the network latency seems a lot less on here. You key up straight away, and you you're basically talking straight away, which is quite good considering I'm um, using quite low bandwidth wireless. It's it's doing pretty uh, pretty well. Yeah, I agree with that one. Um... Yeah, there's definitely a bit of a difference, but I do like the way it operates. I just wonder whether it uses a lower bitrate, whether that's got something to do with it. Yeah, possibly the server might be smaller than, um, well, it's po probably smaller than what Zello's using, but yeah, it's sounding good anyway. Are you on the Radio Tone RT3, James? Yes, yes, that's what I'm using. Um, I've just connected Zello, so I'm just using yeah, this app at the moment. Um, yeah, working well there. So listen, like I say, it's uh, once you get used to the fact that it's like a BMR, um, then you, you, you just get on with it, don't you? But um, Zello is definitely uh, different. Yeah, it's, I suppose this is a bit more professional, isn't it? This is aimed at like the professional market, so for security and um, networks and things like that, and um, data for taxes and all sorts of stuff uh, in, in different countries so I suppose it's got quite a different end user where Zello's more for just for leisure this is more professional app and this real PTT Yeah, I mean it does work well and 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 it does with an in individual user. So if that is the case, which I think it is, then I do like the idea very much. Yeah, so at the moment we're on a direct call from Radio 1 to Radio 2. I think you're Radio 2, I'm Radio 1. And But yeah, we are in a group call as well on the other side, so you can group call in there. Yeah, it's quite good. It's quite good, James. Right, well, I'll, um, I'll leave that one there. But cheers for helping me test, and I'll catch you a little bit later on. Yeah, yep, cheers James, have a good one. Okay, so switching the radio on, you just press the menu button on the side and that will turn the radio on. And once you wait for it to boot up, you'll be presented with Real PTT, and that's if you've got it on your device. And you can set that to come on when the device comes on or not. I've got mine set to come on, so that comes on straight away. But you can see here we've got the desktop. It looks very, very similar to any other Android device, and um, with a time, date, uh, signal meter there for 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi, um, things like that. Um, so very, very similar. Um, we've got a menu button on the bottom there which brings up things like the calculator, calendar, clock, file explorer, FM radio, gallery and if we just swipe over we've got messaging, music, contacts, phone, profile manager, you can see real PTT there and we've also got a sound recorder, videos and settings and if we look in here you can see all the usual things like um, wireless, mobile data, Bluetooth, 4G on and off and then you can tether this to other devices as well so I had this running off my iPhone and it works, works quite well sharing data. We've got dual SIM settings, sound, display, storage, battery settings, apps, location, security, language and import, backup and reset. Basically all the stuff that you're used to seeing on these network radio devices that are based around an Android framework. And um, you can go in and edit all these settings um, just as you can with any other network radio.
and then we've just got some firmware and um, Android version information in there so yeah that's basically the uh, internal menus on the radio really really simple really straightforward and, and you know sort of no different to any other uh, network radio that's out there like I say that runs an Android framework so if we're just looking real PTT which came pre-installed on this device I've only used this with both of my accounts so you can see there you can select um, contacts or you can select a group um, so I've got a group here for my for both my accounts and only one of them is logged in which is the radio you've got here but you can see there we've got all sorts of settings in here like volume control um, PTT start message alert so it basically comes out with a beep which you'll see when we test the radio um, you can save audio on here um, you can change um, the PTT button display on the screen so you can um, p you can use the screen to key up but you can use your PTT button um, all sorts of settings in there quite a simple quite a straightforward app but I'm not going to go into any detail really on real PTT because I'm only showing you it today because I haven't got Zello um, but as I say it does work quite well okay guys so I hope you enjoyed this short video on the Sennheiks N33 uh, as I say quite an interesting little development model here I'm looking forward to see what happens with this device um, it really does look the part it's it's very very nice indeed it looks sort of more commercial than some of the network radios and feels a lot more rugged and there's less buttons and knobs and bells and whistles on it to to break should this be dropped so yeah it does look quite a nice promising little device so I thought I'd share you uh, share that with you today uh, Real PTT, it does seem quite good. As I say, Zello is uh, is always going to be the one for me um, so far. But Real PTT seems to work well with the testing that um, myself and James have been doing. So quite impressed with it. And yeah, just stay tuned on the channel, guys, for updates on this device because I'm sure it's going to go from strength to strength. But I just wanted to share with you uh, sort of the story so far with this with this radio at the moment. Okay, I think I'll leave that one there. I've got plenty more coming, guys. I'm going to re be reviewing the Sennheiks N60 4G model soon with the new microphone, and I've got some other goodies from uh, Sennheiks, which I'm going to be showing you in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, drop them in the box below, and I'll get back to you. And if you haven't already subscribed, then hit the subscribe button. And all that's left to say is 7-3. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.